Hello everyone, it's a real pleasure to see aerobatics performed by professional pilots high in the sky. These events are usually filmed by specialists, while spectators watch the show from the ground. However, sometimes anyone can capture spectacular images, and not during a special air show, but absolutely by chance. Today, we've compiled such videos for you. Really cool airplane flights just a few feet from the ground. It's a terrifying and fascinating spectacle at the same time. Ready to see them? Then, let's get it on. You probably need to be a true extreme lover and a crazy person to sit at the rudder of a fighter plane and just fly above other planes. The Su-24 not only passes over the cameraman's head, but also a couple of meters away from another military aircraft at high speed. See for yourself, this short distance is perfectly visible if we slow down the video. By the way, the cameraman's reaction's great, as he doesn't seem to be surprised at all, but slightly annoyed. Oh, now the windows are going to explode again. According to the description in this video, this is a demonstration of Serbian army fighters. Apparently it's some military event for ordinary spectators, but it doesn't matter in which country it happens. The important thing is that the pilot in command of the fighter plane can do this. A true master. The aerobatics, the loops of all kinds and the incredibly low flights are maneuvers you expect from any fighter. After all, they are maneuverable, and their pilots love to do extreme things in the air, which is impressive. But nobody expects a person at the rudder of an Antonov AN-2 to do the same, but he did it. It. And again, Serbia. Maybe it's an annual festival, and every year the fighter pilot flies just a few feet off the ground in front of numerous spectators, and then takes off at the sky with a beautiful movement, as if it were a real iron bird. Just imagine how much faith you must have in yourself, in your skills and in your plane to do something like that on a daily basis. Of course, flying so close to the ground is very dangerous, especially when there are other expensive planes, vehicles and people around. But oh, it just looks so cool, and your skin gets goosebumps. In 1996, a film crew made a documentary about the Spitfire plane, which was celebrating its 60th birthday. Can you imagine the documentary? A cheerful presenter in a shirt talking about the plane and and the plane. It seems that the film crew wasn't prepared for this kind of event. By the way, Ray Hanna, one of the best pilots of his generation, was flying the Spitfire in that moment. The perfect place to see terrifying low flights and various aerobatics is Mach Loop. Mach Loop, named after the Welsh town of Macintyre, is a series of valleys and hills used by Royal British and NATO Air Force pilots for low-altitude flight training. Observers from around the world often gather to see the combat vehicles, because there's so much to see here. Basically, Mach Loop served as a training ground for fighter planes, where pilots fine-tune their skills to perfection, as in this video. And here's another example of training at Mac Loop. The stars of the show are the fourth generation American F-15 Eagles, true birds of prey among military aircraft. And among the hills, they also fly like real eagles, running in dangerous proximity not only to the ground, but also to the public. Impressive. However, to see an extremely low flight when the plane almost touches the ground with its wing, it's not necessary to go to any military training camp. Sometimes it's enough to choose a suitable beach with an airport nearby. Once done, relax, have your favorite cocktail, and enjoy the passenger planes that come to land over your head. The disadvantage is the noise, and the advantage is the airplanes over your head. Although all the flights in our video today can be considered very low, extreme, and even dangerous, this one deserves special attention. Imagine how much you need to trust your friend to stand in the middle of the runway when a fighter plane is headed towards you at high speed, and 
flies half a meter above your head. This guy's nerves must be made of adamantium. This is a Russian road in broad daylight and a video recorded by a dash cam and a fighter plane flying so low that it almost touches the roofs of the cars. In fact, it was most likely a road landing rehearsal. Look, both planes have their landing gear down and they were actually flying very low. After all, during military operations, any fairly wide road is considered a landing strip. Probably the best proof of a pilot's incredible skill is when people appear to think the video is fake. According to them, an airplane can't fly so low above the ground without touching it with the wing, nor can it get up in the air again. It's simply impossible, but in reality, it is possible. This video, for example, was filmed in the Netherlands, and the pilot of this plane deserves our admiration. When we talk about the Boeing KC-135, we don't imagine a fast or very maneuverable plane. Seriously, you wouldn't think of seeing a refueling plane participating in any aerobatics. It weighs 44,000 kilograms. You couldn't imagine this huge plane doing something really cool. For example, flying very, very low above the ground. But just look how it does it. The Lockheed C-130 Hercules is a medium and long-range US military transport aircraft. It's considered the premier military transport aircraft of the United States, NATO, and other countries, and in 2014 was the most popular military transport aircraft in the world. Hercules weighs 34 tons, can fly at 540 kilometers per hour, and is also capable of flying over hills and houses so low that everyone who sees this show ends up with goosebumps. Well, except for the sheep in this video. Since Hercules is considered a very popular military aircraft, this vehicle is frequently tested. For example, these aircraft are often seen flying over the M74 in Scotland. This video was filmed on the 6th of June 2016 near the village of Beetuk, and when we say over the road, we mean very, very low. So low the wings almost touch the cars passing by. And here's another flight of Hercules, filmed with a dash cam, also on the M74, but this time on the 22nd of July 2015. By the way, according to the author of this video, the recording didn't accurately reflect how low the plane was. It also moved very quickly, so these few seconds on camera were really intense. Do you think it's boring to see a flight flying on the ground in the middle of the desert? Well, the pilot of this fighter will prove the opposite. He will pass over your head, leaving behind incredible waves of dust. Yes, it's likely that you, your friends, your camera, and everything around you will end up covered in a thick layer of dust, but you must admit it was worth it. and another Mac Loop video. Don't be surprised that there are so many of them here because this is the perfect place to record planes that fly over the ground so low that without knowing it, you start worrying about the pilots. But let's be honest, every flight looks incredibly great. Residents of the surrounding houses are probably used to the permanent air shows and no longer rush to the windows to see the planes. Even people who aren't fans of the military or paranormal stories have probably heard of Area 51. It is a military base located in Nevada, USA, considered one of the most secret in the world. Air travel is prohibited in Area 51, and the US government has been reluctant to acknowledge its existence. It's said that this is where alien spacecraft are located, which take off from time to time. Well, we don't know what happens to the guests from the distant planets, but you've seen fighters flying near Area 51, and sometimes they've been filmed. And you know, it's no worse than a UFO. Have you ever heard of Star Wars Canyon? Actually, the official name of this place is Rainbow Canyon, but the rocks that form the walls of the canyon make it very similar to the fictitious planet Tatooine. As a result, this place was nicknamed the Star Wars Canyon. The military use it to train fighters, so it's no wonder the canyon attracts photographers. As you climb to the edge of a cliff, you can not only see and hear them, but even feel the movement of the air as the fighter plane passes by. It's definitely a fantastic experience. Thank you. 
Going to the runway is a very, very bad idea. Seriously, never do that. It's just better to watch the plane pass over someone else's head. By the way, the best part of this video is, of course, the camera person's scream. It's a perfect compliment to the image. <laughs> And as we already have said, it's not only fighter planes that can perform extremely low flights, which can be filmed with a camera. Sometimes it can be a helicopter. Why not? Imagine you're driving down the road and suddenly a huge helicopter almost lands right in front of you. Or rather, it hangs in the air and moves for a few seconds and then simply flies away. In many cities, airport runways are far from pedestrian zones, so pilots aren't disturbed by locals or tourists. But at Taipei Songshan Airport in Taiwan, you can sit on the runway. For what? For the best pictures, of course. Dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great. 